Could this be the new herbal Viagra? In this video, what I'm going to do is take a look at a specific herb that 99% of the population has probably never even heard of that does appear to suggest that it can inhibit the same enzyme that Viagra works on. So for those of you who are brand new to my channel, my name is Lucas, the founder of Boost Your Biology. If you've been enjoying these videos and please hit this like button below, hit subscribe to stay up to date with the latest and greatest health research. So before we get into this specific herbal supplement, let's first uncover what Viagra is and how it actually works at improving erection quality. Well, Viagra is sildenafil and it's a medication that's used in the management and treatment of erectile dysfunction and pulmonary arterial hypertension. Now, Viagra or sildenafil is in the phosphodiesterase 5 inhibitor class of medications. Now, to put it simply, all you need to remember is that Viagra inhibits the enzyme PDE5. So all you need to remember is that by inhibiting this enzyme, this is beneficial for blood flow to the penis. So how was Viagra actually discovered? Well, scientists at the pharmaceutical company Pfizer discovered the powers of Viagra sildenafil citrate by accident in the early 90s during trials of a potential new angina drug named UK92480. Now, angina or angina is a condition in which the vessels that supply the heart with blood actually constrict, triggering chest pain and also breathlessness. Now, UK92480 was found to do little to relieve pain and Pfizer was on the verge of abandoning the drug when reports began to show a distinctive pattern, many male trial volunteers were experiencing an unusual side effect, erections. <laughs> so we can see, having a look at the way in which Viagra works, we can see that it affects that PDE5 enzyme, which plays a role in the CGMP, GMP pathway to affect nitric oxide production and also protein kinase 5. Now, here's an interesting fact about Viagra that you probably weren't familiar with. Now, interestingly, we can see that Viagra has an antidepressant-like effect through oxytocin-dependent cyclic AMP response element binding protein phosphorylation. Now, that's a very lengthy title for a study, but what they're basically noting in this particular study is that an antidepressant-like effect from Viagra may be achieved through the oxytocin pathway. So this is something to bear in mind that some of these medications that work on maybe what we think it may be working on is one specific enzyme, turns out to be that it may affect pathways within the brain that affect sexual libido and arousal. So bear in mind that some of these medications have collateral damage or collateral effects. I mean, that they can affect different pathways and enzymes that probably weren't initially thought that they would interact with. So now let's have a look at this herbal Viagra fruit. Now this fruit extract is called Spondias mangifera. Now we can see this study here was titled Ameliorative Sexual Behavior and Phosphodiesterase 5 Inhibitory Effects of Spondias Mangifera Fruit Extract in Rodents, in Silico, in Vitro, and in Vivo Study. The article basically says that sexual dysfunction is now considered a persistent disorder, particularly among those aged between 40 to 70, owing to various physical, psychological, aging, and lifestyle causes. Now, people with infertility are more likely to have early ejaculation, reduced sexual desire, and erectile dysfunction. Now, the number of men with erectile dysfunction is expected to rise to nearly 300 million by 2025. Guys, listen up. I'm sure you're aware of the importance of personalization when it comes to optimizing your health. That is why I'm offering a free 15-minute Boost Your Biology Strategy Session with a senior member of my team where we'll chart out a personalized plan for success so that you stop guessing when it comes to different supplements, diets, training, and lifestyle strategies. So be sure to check that link out in the video description down below. Now, let's take a look at what the article indicates about this particular extract. So we can see the effects of S. mangifera ethanolic extract on the mount intermission and ejaculatory frequencies. Now, there was a significant increase in mounting frequency, intermission frequency, and ejaculation frequency after Viagra 
in comparison to normal controls, and the ethanolic extract of S. mangifera fruits was given to the mice at 200 and 400 milligrams per kilogram per day. And on day 28, or about one month after usage, the mounting frequency, intermission frequency, and erectile or ejaculation frequency rose considerably at 400 milligrams per kilogram per day. So we're seeing that it also has a similar effect to Viagra in terms of sexual performance. Now we can see here from zero first day, day seven, day 14, day 21, and day 28 at the different dosages. Now we can see sildenafil was administered at five milligrams per kilogram per day. Now bear in mind, this is not a human study. This is a rodent study. Now, at the end of the video, what I'm going to do is actually share the dosage, the hypothetical dosage range for this particular fruit extract to induce a positive effect on sexual functioning. So we can see this study here was identifying different dosage ranges, escalation dosages, um, particularly in rodents. And we're looking at the sildenafil dosage, five milligrams per kilogram per day. You know, we're seeing an improvement um, in erection or mounting frequency. So interestingly, we can see that the most effective dosage here identified for the fruit extract was 400 milligrams per kilogram per day. Now, if we check how Viagra affects testosterone and we have a look at how this herb affects testosterone, we can see the authors noted, the testosterone level significantly increased in Viagra treated groups compared with normal control groups. Now, when administered 400 milligrams per kilogram per day, um, the testosterone level is significantly increased. However, 200 milligrams per kilogram per body weight of this particular fruit extract showed a less significant effect on testosterone. And so what they noted here was that the 400 milligrams per kilogram per uh, day of the dosage for this particular herb had the most increasing effect on testosterone levels as compared to uh, sildenafil. So now let's have a look at the mechanism of action. So how does this S -mangi or spondias mangifera extract actually work? Now we can see that sexual stimulation leads to endothelial cell and neuron activation and nitric oxide is a crucial um, gaseous molecule that plays a role in this effect and this performance enhancing effect. And we can see how this particular fruit extract does appear to block that PDE5 enzyme just like the same pathway that we see blocked by sildenafil. So we can see that this particular fruit extract appears to block the same enzyme as Viagra. And that leads to reductions in um, muscle stiffness and also promotes vascular smooth muscle relaxation. And finally, leading to increased blood flow to the penile tissue. So now you're probably wondering what is the human equivalent dosage of a particular spondias mangifera extract? Now, if we look at the dosage conversion, we're looking at around 64 milligrams per kilogram. And so I estimated this for an 80 kilogram person, I'm roughly 80 kilograms. Well, I'm usually floating between 81 to 80 kilograms. That's about 5,189 milligrams per dosage per day. So that's about five grams of this particular extract per day. Um, so at this point in time, I do not know a reliable vendor for this particular herb. So what I'll be doing is I'll be announcing updates for this herbal extract in my newsletter. So make sure you've signed up to my newsletter to say up to date with whether or not we can actually source this particular ethanolic extract of S. mangifera. Otherwise, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.